with Sam Gang members. We right back. Um, this time we about to be checking out one of the videos that kept being recommended to us um, many times over. So I figured that we should uh, probably go ahead and check it out. Might be a sign or something like that, or it might just be an interesting fit since they keep on um, particularly sending it to the channel. Like you know, either way, um, they saying that the playoffs are out of control. Um, I mean, it's the finals now, so I don't see how out of control it could be. But that's the title of it, so, um, I mean, we're about to be checking it out. Y'all subscribe. If y'all not already subscribed, I'm going to just say subscribe, uh, like, comment, and all that. And, um, yeah, let's get into this highly recommended video. 2,802. This is the total number of players to ever play in an NBA playoff game. From the... <clears throat> Best to ever do it to some players you've probably never even heard of. Among those 2,802 players, 164 of them never scored a single playoff point. A few of these players include a man named Fatty, basketball Hall of Fame coach George Carl, and his son Kobe Carl, and a guy named Jeff Halliburton, whose most notable accomplishment was being Julius Irving's cousin. In fact, here is every single player to ever suit up for a playoff game in the history of the NBA, sorted by points per game. 2,802 players Julius Irving's cousin. In fact, here is every single player to ever suit up for a playoff game in the history of the NBA, sorted by points per game. 2,802 players throughout the NBA's 75-year history. They're all here. Here. How they randomly got people selected on them. Here's Bulls legend Alex Caruso in the 1,144th spot. Here's Bimbo Coles in the 816th spot. He's not really relevant here, I just wanted to say his name. Here's Horace Grant. He played a lot of playoff games, but wasn't the greatest scorer. Here's Manu Ginobili. He played in even more playoff games and was a slightly better scorer. But you won't get into any real... Okay, so the further out this way, or the further out to the right they are, the better the um, they stay. All-time great scoring territory until you get into the top 150 on this list. Scottie Pippen lands just outside of that threshold at 17.5 points per game at the 152nd spot. Keep climbing and you'll find Kevin Garnett, Clay Thompson, Jimmy Butler, Dwayne Wade, Jason Tatum, and all the way at the top, you'll find the greatest playoff scorers in NBA history. LeBron James, Jerry West, Kevin Durant, Allen Iverson, and of course, Michael Jordan. With a playoff scoring average so outrageous that even in the grand scheme of the entire history of the NBA, the gap between him and everyone else is massive. That's this crazy. graphic took an excruciatingly long Dang. That was cool. Average so outrageous that even in the grand scheme of the 152nd spot, keep climbing and you'll find Kevin Garnett, Clay Thompson, Jimmy Butler, Dwayne Wade, Jason Tatum, and all the way at the top, you'll find the greatest playoff scorers in NBA history LeBron James, Jerry West, Kevin Durant, Allen Iverson, and of course, Michael Jordan. With a playoff scoring average so outrageous that even in the grand scheme of the entire history of the NBA, the gap between him and everyone else is massive. This graphic took an excruciatingly long time to make. My head is pounding, and I hope it was all worth it, because there's actually only 2,801 players on this graph. There's one player missing. There he is. The one and only player to challenge Michael Jordan's godlike scoring at the highest stage, what? Luka Doncic. 
The kid is making history every time he steps. Oh, I see how it's going. That's fine. Steps on the court, and he's just getting started. One of many unbelievable facts about this year's NBA playoffs. That was cool. Today's video is sponsored by Noom. Have you ever watched NBA players in action and thought to yourself, I really need to get into shape? It's easy to let the busyness of every day get in the way of your health and fitness. I am certainly no exception. But where do you start? The psychology of why you're making these choices results. And by clicking playoffs have been a non-stop thrill ride for NBA fans. With the occasional blowout that drains all the excitement from the whole experience. But it's all worth it because we also got games where records were broken and history was made. And then we're left with another blowout that drains all the excitement from the whole experience. But aside from every other game being decided in the first 15 minutes of action, the 2022 NBA playoffs have been nothing short of incredible. So here are 10 unbelievable facts about the NBA playoffs that you have to see to believe. In Game 6 against yeah, the Pelicans, Chris like Paul that. had one of the wildest no stat lines I have ever seen. 13 for 13 from 2, 1 for 1 from 3, and 4 for 4 from the free throw line. The man didn't miss a single shot the entire night and finished with 33 points. In terms of shooting, this was the perfect game, quite possibly the rarest feat in basketball. But you want to know what's crazy? Chris Paul isn't even the first player to accomplish this feat in the playoffs. Among players who attempted at least 10 shots, two players previously accomplished this feat. Don Nelson, who made every shot in a 1974 playoff game, and Serge Ibaka, who didn't miss a single shot in a playoff game back in 2012. But here's the That's catch. Fine. These games aren't even the most efficient shooting performances in playoff history. That game belongs to Duncan Robinson, who had the most efficient shooting night in NBA playoff history just 11 days prior to CP3's perfect game. In game one against the Hawks, Duncan had a true shooting percentage of 129%. Yes, you heard that correctly. Because Duncan Robinson shot so many threes and hit so many threes, the value of each shot he took that night was far greater than Chris Paul's, despite the fact that Chris didn't even miss a single shot. Incredibly hard to believe, but true. And while we're on the subject That's of cool. incredibly weird but true occurrences, we need to talk about DeMarcus Cousins. Because in the what first round him? against Golden State, Cousins scored a playoff career high in points. Now, when I first heard this, I thought maybe his playoff career high was 30, maybe 35 points, but it's not. It's 19. Now, the reason why this number is so absurd is because out of the- That boy high is 19. I mean, it's decent, but you would expect more for him. No, for being dominant like that. You know? Career. He has scored at. <coughs> but maybe his playoff career high was 30, maybe 35 points, but it's not. It's 19. Now, the reason why this number is so absurd is because out of the 674 total games Cousins has played in his NBA career, he has scored at least 19 points in 350 of them. That's more than half. And yet, somehow, he's only managed to clear 19 points once in the playoffs. His playoff career high before this game against the Warriors was just 15. Some not-so-notable players who have a higher career injured. playoff high than DeMarcus Cousins include Jared Dudley, JaVale McGee, Matthew Della Vadova, and Patrick Beverly. Now, if you feel like this year's playoffs have felt a little different than what we're used to, it might be because of the absence of two players, LeBron James and Kevin Durant. Because this is the first postseason in 17 years that hasn't featured LeBron or Durant past the first round. The last time we saw the playoffs without these two all-time greats, the year was 2005. Allen Iverson led the league in scoring, Chris Paul was playing for Wake Forest, and LaMelo Ball was still in diapers. Boy, how the times have changed. And times will continue to change because one of the longest standing records in the history of basketball just went down, and pretty much no one noticed. On May 7th, in Game 3 of the Warriors Grizzly series, Jonathan Kaminga became the youngest player to ever start in a playoff game in NBA history. 
Well, at least we initially thought he was. The official length of the previous record was held for at least 51 years. The night of this game, Kamingo wow. was just 19 years, 213 days old. Now, to put into perspective just how young this is, LeBron James didn't get his first playoff start until he was 21 years, 113 days old. And Kobe Bryant didn't get his first playoff starts until he was 20 years, 259 days old. The NBA wasn't sure if Kaminga broke the all-time record since stats on starters and their age weren't officially introduced to the NBA until 1971. Oh, that's but nice. thanks to a Redditor by the name of Tringle Pringle, we now know that the original record was set much longer than at least 51 years ago. Tringle Pringle is some sort of data tracking wizard because the man has kept track of starting lineups dating back over 100 years ago. And according to his numbers, Jonathan Kaminga broke a record that was originally set back on March 25th, 1910, when the Trenton Potters beat the oh, Reading no. Pretzels 33 to 24 in the EBL championship. Yes, there was once a professional basketball team by the name of Reading Pretzels. The Pretzels starting forward in that playoff game was a player by the name of Hein Blessing who was just 18 years and 362 days old. Which means that, as far as I'm aware of, Jonathan Kaminga broke the longest standing record in the history of recorded basketball. And I guess wow. that's pretty cool. But the magic of Tringle Pringle doesn't end there. Because the NBA Reddit wizard also discovered that in game four name. of the 2022 Eastern Conference Finals, the Miami Heat starting five combined for just 18 points the least amount of combined points from a starting five in the playoffs in NBA history. But thanks to Tringle Pringle, we can look into starting lineups prior to the existence of the NBA. On March 12, 1944, under the order of Adolf Hitler, German Nazi troops invaded Hungary. This event is a landmark in world history. But what relevance does this information have on a YouTube channel about basketball? Well. Game two of the 1944 NBL Finals was also on March 12, 1944. And okay. in this finals matchup, the Fort Wayne Zollners defeated the Sheboygan Redskins 36 to 26. And on that night, the Redskins starting five combined for just 18 points. Which means that the last time a starting five combined for just 18 points, Adolf Hitler was in rule of Germany. The Miami Heat some- Now that's embarrassing right there. Jimmy Butler at least had the most. Lowry be letting them boys down. And you can also see that them boys don't shut the ball. But if they don't uh, trust their team. Somehow managed to play worse than any starting lineup since World War II. And that, my friends, might just be the most disgusting statistic I have ever uttered in saying. my life. But the Miami Heats aren't the only team. Well, don't forget to subscribe, uh, comment, let me know what else y'all want me to rock with. Um, what other stats y'all know about that uh, they didn't go over and all that drop it in the comments um other than that just keep on rocking with us and see y'all down next week